home in Queensland. Oh, of course I have. I've been in Queensland since I don't know and I am in Gold Coast huh? I'm in Gold Coast and we're about to take a ride of our lives and it's going to get crazy and mad This is Dream World and we're about to ride some scary stuff Roller coasters Yeah, this is serious shit This is serious Hi there, I just arrived at the hotel in Brisbane and this is my return suits. I'm gonna just take you through a small tour on how it actually looks like because uh, we took a two bedroom because of me and my friends and uh, one of the bedrooms is in suit. And quickly before I show you the bedroom, I'm just gonna show you the living room and uh, the bathroom. Stars also two bathrooms and also the kitchen. First here on your right, there is a kitchen which is well maintained, well furnished. It's a big kitchen for a hotel. Let me just turn on the lights so that you can see. So in here, there's, uh, there's a fridge and there's a cooktop here. And um, they provide most of the stuff except for the food. And then you can also cook your food here. And then there's a few utensils that are on the cupboards here. And then there's a coffee machine here. And basically they provide most of the stuff. And then there's also a laundry which is very rare to find in other hotels so you can do your laundry here and then from the kitchen there's this table here i think it will be a good place for people to sit down and etch out or if you're eating basically i think it's meant to be a dining you can sit here if you decide to prepare your meals and then there's just a mirror there which is very big Hi there, we just arrived at uh, Gold Coast and uh, we're going to Dream World and we're going to ride on roller coasters. Uh, it's not going to be my first time, but um, this is bigger, much bigger and um, compared to the last one that I went, I guess. I can see from the size of it, it's really big. I'm going in with my friends and we're going to go crazy. We're going to go crazy. I know it's scary and some people started panicking and getting scared, but we want to do it and overcome our fears. So I'm going to show you how big it is before we get in there we have just paid our tickets and we are about to go in there's a lot a lot a lot of stuff to do here we're getting ready to go in we've just got an locker for ourselves because we can't go in there with our stuff we don't know exactly where to go from here but we'll find our way but this is how it is just as you enter the place I'm not very sure whether I'm allowed to carry my camera there because it's very rocky if you have gone to um, a roller coaster it, it can be very rocky so I'm not sure whether we'll be allowed to carry our cameras there but it would be nice if we are and if we are then I'll show you how it goes because it's very scary we'll see how it goes Three. 
Uh, we just arrived at SeaWorld and we're about to go and board a chopper. So I'm, if I get a chance, I might just show you what happens. But I don't know if we'll be allowed to carry our cameras. But I'm hoping they do allow us to carry our cameras. This is our second last day being in Queensland and so far it's been good. I really didn't have much to say because everything was just wow. Everything has been going well. There's a lot of places to visit and I'm so overwhelmed. We are at the Australia Zoo. If you want to find out about Australia Zoo, it's a very interesting story because it's owned by a family. And if you want to look up, I don't know very well how to pronounce the name of the owner, but it's someone called Steve Irwin or Steve Arwin yeah so you can google Steve Arwin and you can find out the history of how Australia Zoo came to be and it's a very interesting story I recommend you to go and look it up hi guys and good morning um, we are still in Brisbane it's Monday morning and we woke up and we were planning to go to um, parasailing or skiing but we got out of the hotel and we had parked our car uh, in the streets and then we didn't find our car our car was towed away and right now we are on our way uh, we called the city council and yeah they had our car they towed it away and now we are on our way to go and recover the car of course we have to pay the money this is getting very interesting we just got the car and we had to pay you know we've gotten a lot of parking tickets because we are apparently staying in the middle of the city and it's very hard to get a parking space and all the parking space you have, spaces you have to pay for and there are times which becomes a two-way space so that's one thing we have struggled with living in the city and if you want to come and visit Queensland make sure you find your accommodation far away from the city but other than that the hotels are quite good so it's a nice place but the only problem is um, the parking outside because if you don't park in the streets we have to park inside the hotel which you have to pay $75 a night which is quite expensive we have chosen just to walk around the, the streets but apparently we've gotten two parking tickets and uh, the car was stored away which we have now recovered the car and we we can't go to parasailing anymore because we have to take one person to the airport who is going back today since Saturday Brisbane got a, a case of coronavirus and as usually people always react and we go on a lockdown very fast since then we've been hoping that we can complete our holiday without going for a lockdown but now the cases have increased today to 10 and every state is now rushing to a lockdown so uh, one of my friends is coming from Perth, WA, Western Australia and for them they've always been very strict about COVID because they've not really had any serious cases when it comes to COVID and since COVID began. WA has announced that anyone who's traveling from Brisbane or from Queensland is going on isolation for two weeks, whereas in uh, Victoria, 
we have to go and get tested and isolate ourselves until we get our results, which is better. Queensland or Brisbane today it was on a lockdown. We don't know what's going to happen. We're just crossing our fingers that we'll be able to travel back home tomorrow in the morning because our flights are scheduled for tomorrow morning. So we're just hoping that nothing happens between now and then that can deter us from going back to Victoria. But then we've had a lot of fun. I can't regret coming on a holiday.